Hey there, our saviors. Pastor Tim here. Since the kids of our saviors aren't going to be able to be uh, physically together for Sunday school or youth club in uh, the coming weeks ahead, we uh, were talking about ways that we could engage families in faith formation and spiritual practices still, even as we are physically distant from one another. And so we thought one of the ways we could try this is by singing some songs together and maybe reading a Bible story. So today that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do like a, a mini Sunday school slash kids worship time. We're going to sing a few songs together and uh, we're going to hear a story and we're going to do a little bit of reflection with our families. So gather around the kitchen table, gather around the living room, wherever is comfortable for you. Watch this together, sing some songs together, and uh, and then have some good discussion around a story we're going to be reading. Um, there's also a document that we are emailing out to all the families in our programs as well, so you can follow along uh, and do the family question portion of this. So, to kick us off, we are going to sing a song called Cast Your Burdens. If you've never heard this one, uh, I'll teach you the actions, all right? So you can stand up and do these actions. It goes like this. Repeat after me. Cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you. All right? So let's try that again. Cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you. And then there's a fun part because we get to jump up and down and say higher, 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 higher. Lift Jesus higher. And there's a lower part. Lower, 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 lower. Stop Satan lower. And there's a wider part. Wider, 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 wider. God's love is wider. All right. Sing it together. Ready? your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you. Cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you. Higher, 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 Jesus, higher, 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 to Jesus, for he cares for you. Cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you. Lower, 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 Satan, lower, 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 Satan, lower. Cast your burdens unto Jesus. For he cares for you. Cast your burdens unto Jesus. For he cares for you. Wider, wider, wider. Wider, wider, wider. Wider, wider, wider. God's love is wider. Wider, wider, wider. Wider, wider, wider. Wider, wider, wider. God's love is wider. Cast your burdens unto Jesus. For he cares for you. Cast your burdens unto Jesus. For he cares for you. All right. Thank you so much for singing with me. Now, I would like you to take a moment with your families to do something. We today are going to talk about uh, a story in the Bible starring a woman named Deborah. And something kind of scary happened in Deborah's time in her life. And so she was learning how to deal with that uh, together with her people. So what I would like you to start by doing is uh, turn to someone in your family here and start by talking about a time when you were scared. Maybe you had a scary dream or maybe you accidentally lost track of your mom or dad out at a grocery store. When's a time that you were scared and who helped you when you were scared? Parents, you can share with your kids too. When's a time that you were scared and who helped you when you were scared? You know, I remember being scared once because uh, I was at a Target store when I was about four years old. And it's the first time I remember feeling like I was totally left alone. You see, 
my mom was uh, looking at something and I was looking at something else in the store and I wandered around a corner and suddenly she was nowhere to be found. And so I remember just screaming, totally scared because I had lost my mom. Little did I know she was only a row away, the one that I had left. And so uh, a Target employee came up uh, behind me and helped me find my mom again. And so uh, I learned that day that even when you're scared, God always sends people to help. So take some time now, think about when were you scared? Now talk to each other about it. I'll give you a little bit of time. You can pause the video to do that. Okay, that should be enough time. Now, the next question that you can talk to your family about is this. How does your face look when you're scared? How does your face look when you're scared? Pause the video in a second and show the people around you. I'll give you a second. All right. Now, I'll show you what my face looks like when I'm scared. I either go like this, or I go like this. Oh, gosh. Even just doing it makes me a little bit scared. Can you draw what you look like when you're scared? I. I took a little bit of time a bit ago and drew what I look like when I'm scared. Um, I think the, the likeness is kind of there. You see it there? Yeah, we look kind of like each other, don't we? Yeah, there I am screaming, eee! really scared. Take a moment now and you can pause this video again and draw a picture of what it looks like when you're scared. Now, Our story today comes from a very special book. Do you know what this book is? It is the Bible. Yes, exactly right. So we are going to read the story of Deborah, which comes in the book of Judges today. This is from the Spark Story Bible here. Deborah, God's people had been captured by an enemy. They prayed to God, please help us get our land and freedom back. God listened to their prayers and sent a woman named Deborah to help them. Deborah was a judge and was very wise and faithful to God. She gave people messages from God and helped people talk out their arguments. Every day, Deborah sat under a palm tree. Men and women who had problems came to her to ask for help. One day, God gave Deborah an important message, a message that would help free the people of Israel. Deborah gave God's message to a man named Barak. She told him, God said, take 10,000 men and go to Mount Tabor. God will help you defeat the king's army and the Israelites will be free. Barak said, I'll do this, but I need your help. Deborah, who was as brave as she was wise, agreed to go and help. She knew that God would be with her every step along the way. So Barak and Deborah took 10,000 men to Mount Tabor. There was an awful battle. Yelling and fighting went on. The noise was loud and terrible. But God was always with Deborah and the Israelites, protecting them and keeping them safe. It was a hard battle, but finally Barak and the Israelites won. God helped them defeat the king's army, and there was peace in the land for 40 years. So here we see this wise and brave woman named Deborah. And God came to Deborah and gave her a specific job to do, to go and help God's people win their freedom from the land and the king that was hurting them, that was weighing down on them. And so Deborah did just as God had commanded, and she took Barak and the soldiers and led them into battle where they won and the people of Israel were set free. This is a story that shows us that whenever we're scared, God is with us. 
Whenever we wake up in the middle of the night and we're not sure and we're uncertain and feeling afraid, God is with us. Whenever we're stuck at home and kind of scared about everything that's going on, God is with us. This is good news that you and I get to share. Now, when the Israelites were captured, before they were set free, they prayed to God, and God heard their prayers. Take a moment now, pause the video in a second, and discuss this question. When do you pray? All right, should be enough time. Now, we know that God still sends helpers of all kinds, even today. When I told you the story at the beginning about me getting lost in Target, it was kind of God sending that Target employee to come and help me find my mom again. Now, there are community helpers all around us all the time. What community helpers can you think of? I think of community helpers like nurses and doctors, like firefighters. Can you think of any more community helpers? Now, to end today, we're going to say our prayers together. So what I would like you to do with your family is sit down and write down the names of people that might need help today. Maybe you want to pray that your grandma or grandpa would receive help today, or your parents, or your brother or sister, or your teacher. Who do you want to pray for today? Now, I invite you to pray with me for all those people. Dear God, we thank you so much for all the helpers in our lives. We ask God that you would make us helpers too. That whenever we see people in need, whenever we see people afraid, we would be the ones willing to go and help. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, and as my preschoolers out there know, I know some of you are a little older, but this song works for all of us. There's a special song that we sing a lot with our preschoolers, and it is about a hippopotamus. And it goes like this. I want to show you the actions first, and then we can sing the song together. Repeat after me. In the beginning, God made the seas and the forests filled with trees. God made the mountains up so high. Above it all, he made the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere just to show how much God cares. In this time, he had some fun he made a hippo that weighed a ton. Hip, 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 popado mus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. All right. I hope you got it. Those actions can even be hard for me to remember sometimes. Ready? In the beginning, God made the sea. Forest filled with trees, God made the mountains up so high. Above it all, He made the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere, just to show how much He cares. In this time, He had some fun. He made a hip for that weighed a ton. Hip, 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 hip,
long week, but I think you can go even faster than that. Ready? In the beginning, God made the seas and the forest filled with trees. God made the mountains up so high above it all. He made the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere just to show how much he cares. In this time, he had some fun. He made a hippo that weighed a ton. Hip, hip, hip. Oh my goodness. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, we will once again next week put out more material so you and your family can uh, learn and grow together. Bye.